Hello again, this is Gabriel Gilevan coming to you with another quick Cinema 4D tutorial. In this episode I'm going to show you how to create windows and doors using the Bool tool. A Bool cut is when an object cuts itself into another object, creating a nice cut shape. In our case we want to create holes for a door and a window into this wall. To do that we need to first create the object that would be the hole. We need to resize it as we want. We need to make sure the object will pass on both sides of the wall we need to cut. And once we are done, we have to cut this object through the second object using the bool tool that we can find. Holding the click here and choosing bool. The icon for the bool already explains that one object will cut the second object. So we will bring the bool tool here in the object list. And we need to make sure the order of adding objects under the bool option would be first the object that cuts and then the object that gets cut. In our case, this cube, which is the wall. Simply drag them both under the bool and you will see that the cut has been made. The cool thing about the bool tool is that as long as it's still in the editable shape, you can still move your initial object and also it moves the cut. Also, you can edit the initial object and it will also edit the cut. This is how we are going to do the hole for the window. We will create another object. We will scale it and position it where the window should be. And then we will bring a new ball into the scene. We will add the first object that cuts under it. And now here's the tricky part. As long as the wall belongs to the first bool, you cannot get it out and add it to the second bool because it will lose its initial cut. Let's see how that happens. Select the wall and drag it into the second bool. Now the second cut has been made and the first one has been lost. In order to keep both cuts and still have the bool option, you need to add the second bool group to the second bool that you want to do. So we won't take the objects from the first bool, we're gonna take the whole bool group and add it under the second bool. And now we have a cut inside another cut and they both can be edited. You just need to select the right object from the bool and work with it. Let me show you now how to create easy doors and windows right on the spot without adding different objects and trying to scale them and position them again to fit these holes in the wall. For that we're going to use the initial cuts which is this cube, let's rename it door, and the second cube window. To quickly fill 
these holes with a door and a window, just copy and paste the original cut objects. Door and window. Now, if we move them, we didn't affect the bool group. We also can use these new ones to fill the gaps without rearranging them. Now we have the original objects that cut through our wall, so we can use them to create the new objects right in place for the new objects. So we are taking the door. We are going to build a door frame, so we are adjusting the thickness. We are going to copy paste it. Let's change the display mode so we can see what we are doing. We're going to make a door frame. We're going to make another bull cut here. So now we are going to have a door frame cut by this cube from the inside. We're creating a new bull. We're taking the first object that cuts the second object that gets cut, drag them under the bull so we have a door frame. Now we take the full bulls group and place the door frame in the exact hole from before. Now in order to create a door inside this frame, we just need to select the inside cube from, the, from it, copy paste it, It is already in position, you just need to make it slim and put it inside the frame. So there you go, we have used a bull for the door frame over the bull from the hole where the door should be. Let's move now to the window and perform the same operations. We already have the window cut. We're just going to make a window frame, copy paste, make it smaller, then make it wider. Keep in mind that the object that cuts and that's going to be invisible always needs to be bigger than the object that gets cut. Otherwise, I'm going to show you what's happening. So let's create another bull. Take the first object that cuts, put it under. Take the second one that gets cut, put it under. Now we have the door frame. Look what happens if the object that cuts is moved out of the hole or through the hole. You can see it, it's still here but it's invisible because his state now is a cut. It's not an object anymore visible to the camera. So you can move it and it will move the cut shape however you want. If the cut object is smaller than the object that gets cut through, it will be inside it and you won't see it. That's why be sure that you make the object wider than the one that has to cut. Then copy paste again. We, wa we want to make the window now. Repeat the same process. Copy paste. Make it wider. Bring the bull, add object one, add object two, and we have the frame. And for the last part of the window, we need a glass. Just use the cut you already have placed, copy paste, bring it out, make it thinner, and create an object material that is transparent bring the transparency bit down and apply it on the glass. 
Now we are going to assemble all three objects. Take them from this list here and place them where they should be. So there you are. We have created easy, fast door and window with just one operation, the bool, and using the same objects on the spot without creating and realigning objects every time we need. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure you practice with it, you get creative with the bool tool, and follow my next videos to see what's up.